afternoon everyone so we're off out on another trip so welcome to waterside fishing adventures i'm kyle so today i think i'm going to wander towards um, beckles i think i'm going to go and have a look along the beckles river i think down that way it's nice and local see if we can get a couple of bites down there so from sort of previous experience the actual main rivers are not fishing too well at the moment in this time of year but hopefully where the boats and stuff more up in the states and in the you know in the sort of off cuts of the rivers and that there'll be a few little fish so we'll go and have a look see what we can get a bite from today i've got some sweet corn hemp uh, got a bit of bread crumb and have to make up some ground bait. Uh, got some bread, got some casters. A few maggots that are dead. And that's about it. It's only going to be a short, sh sh yeah, short session. Because it's already half twelve now. So we'll probably fish till dark. But I just thought I'd give it a little go. Because the old sun's come out and that's five and a half degrees. Which is way higher than it's been in the last few trips. It's been like minus one and stuff lately, so I thought I'd come out and get a sun down. <laughs> nah, but a little bit of sun's nice. Bit of vitamin D. Lovely. So I've got my suit from recently being out, but it's absolutely soaked, but I'm still going to use it just to, as you do, put your suit and boots and stuff on. So we'll head over to Beckles and bring you back in few minutes because it won't take us long to get there because obviously it's local. Get the gear out and explore and put a little bit of bait out, chuck the ledger down, see if we can get a bite. But really it's just sort of an afternoon session, more of a recce really, I just want to go down and see if there's a few fish about where I'm thinking and see how it goes. Never actually fished here before on this river so we're taking a chance. That's all part of fishing, part of the fun. You never know what's going to be on the end of that next bite. This is what keeps us all going all the time, really, isn't it? So we're getting closer now. Don't seem to be too many people about. There's plenty of rain overnight, but lots of things are always wet. Temperature's going up, we've got six degrees now. Not complaining, don't mind a bit of sun. To be fair, I don't like it really hot, I don't like it like 30, 35 degrees. Like when I go over to Spain and stuff, but obviously you have to just put up about to have a nice holiday and stuff. Hoping to next time we do something like that, I'm going to be taking a rod with me. And we'll do a bit of fishing while we're over there. But anyway, right, today, I wish I had some worms to be honest. It's fishing under the side of the boats and stuff and down the sides. Probably would have got a few perch, but the baits I've got, not really going to take it, are they? It's going to be more like roach, rud, skimmers, that sort of stuff, if we can find a few. So, we're getting close, I'll spin you around in a minute, see where I'm going to park up. We'll have a few little casts, try there, if that's no good then we'll move on a little bit more. So I've never tried these spots before, so can't say what they're going to be like. But that's, like I'd say, it's part of fishing, part of the exploring and stuff, part of the fun. So we're on our way down towards the old Bungie Road. We'll get down to the bottom, go across the roundabout, cut in through Beckles. We get into Beckles Town. Fishy. <laughs> I haven't been down there for a long, long time, so I can't even remember what it's like. But I'll certainly have a look, and I'll bring you along with me. We'll see what we can work out. Maybe we'll find another little spot that we can do a bit of fishing at. This bit of river is part of the Norfolk Broads, so it can hold all sorts of species of fish, including pike. Find the right spots and be lucky enough you can actually catch them quite 
a big pipe in there, rods. Been known over 30 pound. And quite a few in the 20s. Not nowhere near as good as they used to be, but still plenty of fish about, just slightly smaller. Okay, so I'll do this last little bit of the trip, and I'll bring you back as we're pulling in. Okay, so we're popping through the little bungy part. It's a nice bit of river up here, and we'll try again at some point. I tried it once in the past, a long time ago. Didn't get any bites, but it's a good spot, it's a good looking spot. There's a river along the back, there's a weir along the front, and then you can fish either side of the bridge. On the left hand side of the bridge down here, I've actually seen a lot of big roach when it's clear. So we'll come down and have a go for them at some point. That's this here where we are now. It's probably flowing right out at the moment, but. Oh yeah, very flooded out. <laughs> Look like sea fishing. Oh, that's rough. I hope that's not like that where we're going now. Yeah, there's lots of bits there to explore, but we have to wait for that to go down a lot, back down to its normal size. There's also a bridge here. It's fishable underneath as well. Pop down the sides if we can find a little spot to have a go at. We'll do that another day as well. So we'll turn left here. Pop down the road here into Beckles and we're in the spot where we're going to fish. End of this road, and we'll be in Beckles. If anyone else has fished these spots that you know about the sea, at different times of the year. Oh, 
anything. Oh well. We're gonna have to use what we got then, because there ain't nowhere else to get any. Like I said before, I haven't been here for a fair few years now. But I used to come here in the summer and stuff and have a little wander about and see what it was about. Like there's plenty of people here wandering. Water looks nice, looks fishable. Plenty of boats moored up. And that's what I was sort of thinking really with the worms and maggots, I was going to have a go around the edges of the boats, but I'm not sure it's going to be possible because obviously we ain't got them baits. Bear with me, I'm just sort of trying to work, work, work out what's what. I'm so I've never been here before, so I've never had to park here before. I'm guessing this is probably a good spot to park. It's a big old car park. There's already about whew, 20 plus cars in here, so there's a lot of people in there. We'll have a look, see what's what. I'll take it with me. I'll just get my suit and boots on, and we'll have a wonder. So, this is what we basically got. I can see down here, and you can probably see too, there's absolutely hundreds and hundreds of fry down in this corner. Whether there's any bigger fish down there with them, I don't know, but. Probably worth a few casts. Sort of a dead end here of where the boats park up. And then we'll wander along this way a little bit. I'm guessing that this is not normally anywhere near this deep. But we'll wander down this way a little bit anyway. See what's what. Just walk up to the water bridge or whatever. Got a bit of wind, sorry about that. spots in between the boats and stuff look good but I don't want anyone moaning but look ideal really don't for perch and stuff we just think of the right baits to get look nice little spots down these edges don't they I think that would be ideal for perch and stuff under the edges of these boats. All the way along here really under these boats and stuff would be ideal I would have thought. Not seeing no fish movement down this end but then not expecting too much fish movement. It's the middle of winter so more of a case of having a few casts. Just working out where the fish are going to be sitting. A couple of fish moving over there beside that blue boat. And just smaller fish on the surface, I think. More than likely going to be riding roach, aren't they? So, what do we do? Where do we fish? Oh, looks nice. Don't reckon it's very deep. There's one way to find out. Let's put a rod in. Little bridge here for crossing the water. Big old field here for picnics and stuff in the summer. It looks like the further you go down, the more it opens up. 
I would say. Being in here in the moorings and whatever, it's probably an ideal spot. So sorry about the wind if you're getting lots of wind. Bigger boats and stuff are parked up this end. You can obviously, if you come around here and fish around this end, you can obviously fish out in the middle there and have a lot more water. But probably not the best tactics I'm going to afford today. Just wish I could have got that. Them maggots and worms, to be honest fishing around the edge of all these boats and stuff probably would have been good someone's just doing the old magnet fishing along here so no one else is fishing here so don't know what that's telling me <coughs> Harbour Master's office just across there. And then as you go up, it just opens up and the boards get bigger and bigger. Till you get round the corner to the road bridge and stuff like that. Well, I think we want to stay while in the river today, well, off the side of the river really. And down in these little corners and stuff, and try these. But I think we'll go back, get some gear out and that's what we'll do. So I'll bring you back once I've decided what spot to try and we'll go from there. Okay, so we're at our first spot. Just trying down in this corner. We're over here the little fry. Having to go on the bottom with a bit of bread flake, hoping there's something a bit bigger there. So we've got bread, we've got pellets, we've got tutti fruity sweet corn, casters and maggots, hemp, um, bread crumb so I can make up some ground if I need to but I'm just gonna have a few cars first and just see how it goes well couldn't ask for much better weather look at the sun <laughs> I'm actually quite hot to be fair a bit too hot too much gear on but I'm not complaining compared to the weather when we were fishing minus one minus two lately this is a lot nicer so I'm out there on my first cast Bit of bread flake on. Going to give it five ten minutes. See if we can get a nibble. If not, we'll sort of move around a bit. There seems to be a lot of people here today. I mean, look how many cars are in the car park. Absolutely jam packed. There's people all playing on the park, kids everywhere, there's all sorts. <laughs> so, not too much happening here. So, we're going to rail in. We're going to move on down the river a bit. And amongst some of them boats down there and have a cast under the boats and stuff. Find a little bit deeper water. See if we can find a few fish. So, we've moved up, picked another spot. We're sitting down here now. Fishing there. And I've literally tucked it right underneath that boat, took a handful of casters and stuff, and that's what we're doing. So nothing on the caster on the first cast. So I've now gone really close to the edge down here with a nice lump of bread. So hopefully that will produce a boat. If not, we'll keep moving until we can find a few. Knocks on the rod, hopefully. Seem to be quite shallow down here, so we'll just have to give it a go and see how we get on. So nothing really happening underneath that boat there. So what I've done now is I've gone across over there. And I'm fishing just in front of that yellow pole.
So hopefully we'll get that in sort of 10 minutes. See what happens there, see if we can get any nibbles. If not, we'll start moving off down that way. Well, nothing's sort of happening here, so I wonder if we should go down there into wider water and deeper water and give that a go. So I think that's what we'll do next. I just had a chat with a couple and they were down here yesterday. Apparently there was a big seal swimming up and down eating fish. So <laughs> that's a sign that there is fish here, but not a good sign. They might wipe the load out and scared the fish. Strange place to see seals, can't say I've ever seen a seal in here before. But you never know, do you? <laughs> Anyone else seen a seal in here before? It seemed like a strange thing to see to me, but gotta give it a go to see we can catch whatever, ain't it? So I'm going to carry on until I enter the seal. I ain't too worried. Just got to keep going and see what you can get. guessing that a lot of people come on here and feed the birds and stuff. The old bread, so you expect to be a few fish here, wouldn't you? <laughs> so where do we try next? Stay in here. Gonna go into the more open water. That's a lot of good, isn't it? So we'll keep climbing walls. I keep shutting pits off in the rivers and stuff at the moment. Whew, right, let's carry on. They're obviously worried about flooding. You can't blame them. Got ladies and gents here and disabled toilet as well. So that's all handy. This is where we are. So let's carry on. Ooh, it's a lot windier than this end. <laughs> so we've got a little cut off from the river here, look quite nice, and we'll give this a go. You can imagine there'll be plenty of fish in these sort of spots in the summer, and I can see a few fish topping. But any tiny little fish will let things. Water over on that side of the river, pretty much bursting the banks. This side is high.
Whew. So, let's see what we can do. We'll go on this corner. We won't fish in the main river, we'll fish out the flow. See if we can get a few bites. Obviously, it's not normally this deep. I've never actually been down to this bit before, so I don't know nothing about this bit. Obviously, the water's going to be up there on the grass. It looks really nice there, doesn't it? Let's put the gear down for a sec. I mean, we've got some float and stuff here, so that's looking good. Over there in the boat moorings and stuff would probably be good, but we can't quite get over there. Just off the flow here, I reckon it's probably worth a good go. So let's see what we can do. I think I'm going to feed a swim up down here with some ground bait. I'm also going to feed out in the middle of the river there. And we'll try both spots and see which one we can get a bite from. Okay, so believe it or not, again today I forgot the old rod rest so I'm going to make up some ground bait with some pure white crumb I'm going to put some pastas and maggots in it a bit of hemp two pellets and a few bits of corn so I'll whip these all into a bucket here with just a little bit of water make up a little bit of ground bait and we'll see how we get on I'll bring you back once I've got this poured in and mixed up I'll show you what we're throwing out. Okay, so it's all made up. Plenty of bits and pieces in there. As you can see, hemp, sweet corn, pallet, <clears throat> and the old break crumb. It's a fairly sloppy mix of want to be nice and cloudy. And then the food content to go down onto the bottom. I don't want to put too much out because this time of year they don't really feed feed. We'll have a go. See what we can get feeding. And we're going to put one set just off the flow down here on the edge of the river here. And then I'm going to come just into this just off the flow and feed down there as well. And let's see what we can do. So I've fed six good balls of ground bait down here just in front of these blue boys, fairly close in out of the river's flow and then I've gone out there just in the middle there put six balls out there as well and that's basically what we're going to do so now we've got to do is put some baits down and see if we can catch a few fish and get a few bites the rest of the river's looking lovely and we've got the whole of the river to explore all the way down that way as well but not today we're going to try this spot. We've got a few hours and let's see if we can get a bite. So, this is us. We've got a bread fake plate just sitting on the side of that boat, just off the edge of the flow down there. We're going to put the six balls of ground bait. It looks like this water we're fishing next to where it's flooded is rising. So, because that bucket was on the grass a little while ago, that's now starting to go into the water but anyway we're sitting here on the edge of this flow and we're hoping to get a bite so let's give it I don't know 15 20 minutes maybe less maybe 10 just because the bread might not stay on might have to change it over to a different bait and then if we don't get a bite there we'll move over to this side where we put the ground bait on that side and we'll have a go down there Hopefully one of the spots will start producing a couple of fish. It's a lovely day, as you can see the old sun's out, lovely and warm. It feels like a summer's day fishing because <laughs> I'm sitting here with my suit and that on. But not complaining, it's all good. Well I'm sitting back on the old bench now, quite nice. Normally if I fish somewhere like this, like in the summer and that when you see me doing videos when there's a lot more fish out and you, know, you get a lot more bites. I'll normally have two rods. I'd have one out in the middle, in the flow in the in the river, a little swim feeder. 
with ground bait going in every cast and then I'd have one down the edge just seeing what I can pick up or maybe even a float but in the middle of winter it's quite hard to get a bite on the rivers as you probably know if you're a river fisherman so today we're just sort of out and see if we can get a couple of bites in a few hours fishing just nice to get out in the sun enjoy a bit of sunshine got to be a little bit of breeze down here but nothing to worry about and it's nice just to sit down the edge of the river to be honest But I'm hoping we will get a couple of bites, land a few fish to make this into a nice video and see how it goes. Right, so I'll sit back and watch this for a little while. I'll bring you back when we have a recast. We change your bait or we change position, stuff like that. And hopefully we'll have a fish. Well, the old tide's definitely creeping in up here. <laughs> it's gone past where I'm fishing now, letting over across there. So the water's definitely pushing in. Might have to just move my gear over a little bit in a minute and put it sort of more over here. Going to be time for a recast in a minute anyway. Bread's probably come off now. We'll get into that point. No bites yet. I don't know whether to try a few casters and maggots. See if I can get a bite on them. We'll put the piece of corn down there and see if we can pick up a bream or something. Just be nice to get a bite at the moment, but as I said before, nice to be out. Can't see no fish moving in the little corner bay to the edge of the river here, but there was a couple down the bottom. When I first come in, but otherwise, can't see no action at the moment. Water's also bursting its banks just down there. And if you can see that where it's coming in, going across there, it's starting to fill up the grounds here. So we're going to get plenty of flooding again by the looks of things. As the tide comes up and all the snow melts. But all part of river fishing, all part of the fun. I can't worry about it too much. And that boat there, look, daybreak. Come out of Harwich. He's had a good trip, hasn't he? Lovely boat, but we're not here to look at boats. We're here to hopefully get a few bites. Right, I'm going to have to move my gear because this water's coming way too far up now. And my bag and stuff will be underwater in a minute. <laughs> so I better move it over. So I've had to move all the old gear, moved the rod over slightly to that post. So what I've done is I've had a cast into the balls of grain boat we got over here. I've got a bunch of casters and a few maggots on. It's quite a big bait. Let's see if we can pick up a nice roach or a bream. The water's like right over here now, nearly up to this post. What I did notice, looking at this post, is um, no fishing, 15th of March to 31st of October. Bit of a shame, isn't it? Don't know why they've done that, probably with the boat owners and stuff like that. But we're not in that time now, so we're fishing. So hopefully, oh, the sun's bright, hopefully we can um, get a few knocks on this rod and bring a fish in. Haven't had any bites yet. Definitely can't say I haven't tried. Trying different spots and stuff. Trying ground bait spots now. If these don't produce in the sort of last, last in the next half an hour or so, then I'll whack a bait right out in the middle of the river in the flow. See what's happening out there. But hopefully we'll start picking up a few fish on top of our ground baited spots. So I'm gonna sit back on the old bench. Have to walk through the old water now. That's how deep that's getting, it's coming in that quick. Bench will actually be underwater. Well not underwater but in water. Probably in the next 
10 minutes or so, it's creeping my way. So we'll be sitting in the water soon. <laughs> you can see it now coming up onto the path onto this post here. So it's definitely coming up quick. I knew this was a tidal river, but I don't know what the tides are or anything today. We just took a chance and come down. But as I say, we'll keep an eye on this rod. Hopefully we'll get a few bites. Well, it's been sort of 10, 15 minutes now. No bites on this rod yet. But this water is rising rapidly. <laughs> That's that post I showed you a little while ago. It's covered in water now, and the water's basically now going under the bench. So it's coming in at a serious rate. And where my rod is, it's probably going to be under water pretty soon, too. Bit of a shame we're not getting many bites at the moment. If you don't try, you don't know, do you? I would think somewhere like this in the summer would be quite an easy spot to fish. Most of the broads you should be able to catch a few fish in the summer, but in the winter, when they're not moving about much and not feeding much, totally different ball game, a lot harder work. But you've got to put the time in and maybe get them few fish over the winter, which I've been doing, as you probably know, if you watch the channel and you've been following the channel, and you do get bonus fish. Like when I was down on the Waveney a few trips ago and I had two roach over a pound, which were lovely. That's the sort of thing we want down here really, but at the moment I'd be happy with anything, just want a bite and a couple of fish on the bank really. But we'll see, we'll keep trying. We've got a while yet before it gets dark. So we'll keep casting about, keep changing the baits. See if we can't get a bite. So these are the ropes that we recently had on a previous trip. And this is the sort of thing we're trying to get today. But you never know, the next bite could be one of these. But I just thought I'd show you these just in case we don't get a bite. You know the sort of thing we're going after. So fingers crossed, we'll get one of these. Or if not, maybe a bream. You never know. So I've decided to have a go. Literally down there, under the side of that boat. Right down the edge. Got maggot and castor on, so you never know. Could be something living then under there. Worth it, it'll go, isn't it? As I said, I'm just going to keep moving the baits around the river. I'll keep going back to the baited spots now and again just to see what's going on there. But I will try some other spots as well. Okay, so I'll carry on watching this. Maybe I'll move it again. Give you an update on the old water. The water's covered underneath a bench now and it's working its way across there. I've had to move the backpack literally right over there just so it's not sitting in a puddle of water. So I'm basically standing in this lot. And that's where we're fishing. Where we'll I just shoot it. So I've moved back onto the ground baited spot just past the boat around the front there got a bit of bread flake on again and we're trying the ground bread spot hoping some fish have moved on to it might go back over here as well where I put six balls out when we first got here give that a little go but it seemed to be really hard work at the moment and this water's just rising all the time as you can see 
posters way in the water now. <laughs> Life boy way in the water. And the bench is underwater. And the water's actually heading towards my bag now. There's posters swimming in water. Down there where I show you earlier is all flooded all the way along the pathway and it's worked its way all the way along there. It's right down to that other bench right down there. down there, which we'll show you on the way back. But let's carry on I'm watching this. We're still alright at the moment, it's still not dark. You never know, we might just get that one bite. And pull in one fish. But we'll keep trying. It's quite nice just watching the river flowing in like this, but not so good when it's flooding up like <laughs> under the banks and stuff. So where are the fishies hiding? Are they there down on the spots and just not feeding? Or are they just not there at all? And they're held up somewhere else. Down the river. Carry on watching this for a bit. We may move it around a little bit and have a cast around, see if I can find some fish in some different areas. Might have a cast right down the middle, see if I can drop something out the middle there. Just have to try a few bits and pieces and see if we can get the rod tip moving. Oh, we got a bite. A live bite, just what we want to see. Lovely. Let's watch it. Come on. We deserve a fish. We've been putting a lot of hours in lately. You all saw that. Good old tug on the rod. There, we just needed to fold round. Produce us a few fish. Come on. That was a lovely bite. <laughs> Come on, fishy, take it. Hopefully, and got away with taking the bread. We'll give it a minute or so, and if it ain't gone again, we'll bring it in and rebait it. Oh, no, here we go. Yep, we could be on. Right, I'm going to watch this, and hopefully, I'll bring you in a fish in a sec. Well, sadly, nothing come with that bite, but we're back down again with some more bread on. We lost a bait last time. Hopefully we're going to get a bite. Hopefully that's not our only chance. Just speaking to the chap that owns this boat and um, he was saying in where we're parked, where the little key is, you can keep a boat down there for about £300 a year, which is quite nice. So I might be interested in doing that. Might be something I'll look into. Thinking about getting a boat so for next summer. So maybe we'll look into doing that for the channel. Sun's starting to go down now, probably got about an hour. But should be good. So the water's definitely coming in now. Bench is well underwater. Post is well underwater. I'm well underwater. And that wall that was coming in down there is now working its way this way. And as you can probably see, absolutely flowing like mad all the way down that path. All the way along there. See the water? So I don't think it'll be too long before it's covering this whole green. <laughs> We've only got about an hour or so left, so we'll fish till dark. Hopefully we'll get a bite. I put this rod back in the same spot a few times now, but don't seem to be able to get a bite no more. Shame we missed that bite. That was a really good bite as well. But you never know, we still might get a bite as yet before we go. I think I'm gonna switch over to the other baited area over there, just for a sec. Just 
next sort of 10 minutes to give that cast in there, see if there's anything down there. And if not, we'll come back onto this line again and we'll try it in the middle. Mr. and Mrs. Swan come to say hello. Don't you go down and take my ground, mate. I think that's plenty deep enough for them not to know it's there, but... Just casually cruising down the river. So we're back down here, back under the front of the boat here. I'm hoping we may just get a bite. Let's tighten up his tip a little bit. That's better. Hopefully this will go off. If it doesn't, then I'm gonna go back down here. So we'll give it 10 minutes. See what happens on there. And if not, we're gonna move it over the other side there. So the sun's pretty much gone down now. No more bites yet. Been under the front here for sort of 15 minutes or so now. So probably ain't got any bait left. But the water's definitely chasing me. <laughs> right, so. I'm gonna bring this one in. And we're gonna put it over where we baited up this morning when we first got here. See what's down there. So we're at in the other swim now. All I've basically done is got on this wall, wandered down this wall, like so. And then we just pronged it out where we baited up a swan down there. So hopefully now. We'll get a few knocks and there'll be a few fish down there where we bait it up. So we'll keep an eye on this now. For the next 10 minutes or so, and hopefully we'll get a bite. So, it's been a pretty hard day so far, really. Had that one bite while I was talking to you earlier, which is a really good bite, shame we missed that. But otherwise, not really a touch on the rod at all. Haven't seen it move whatsoever. I'm just watching it at the same time as talking to you. But I think what I'll do, I've got about half an hour, 40 minutes left of daylight. So I'm gonna have you chuck right into the middle of the river. See what that does on a piece of, nice big piece of bread flake. See if we can pick something up. And then if that doesn't do anything sort of 10, 15 minutes, then we'll come near this boat again where we had the bite earlier on for the remainder of the session and just see if we can pick one fish up. It's trouble this time of year, it's very hard this sort of fishing. Or any anywhere really. Even the lakes and stuff are really hard. And from what I can see sort of sea fishing at the moment, there's not too much coming in there either. I might get a few whiting and the odd flatty, but hard work, full stop fishing at the moment. So you just got to keep getting out, putting the hours in, and keep trying like we do on the channel here. And hopefully you'll get a few fish. Not very often we go out and don't have any fish whatsoever. Have the odd video like that, but not too often at all really. So can't complain too much. 
So right, I'm going to go and move this out into the middle of the river, see if we can hold bottom, and see if we can get a few bites out there. So I've moved the rod, so that's about a quarter of the way across, just off the main main flow, because it's really fast out in the middle, just takes the bottom right down river, so I'm just off the flow, but further out than what I've been fishing all day, so probably, I don't know, two rod lengths out, something like that, I have just threw three or four balls of ground bait out there, just to get something moving down there hopefully. And we're sort of on our last 15 20 minutes now. It's getting dark, and we've got a sort of 10 minute walk back to the car. But we've had a good go, as you know, seeing us moving around swims and stuff, and having a good go as we always do. Can't catch every single time, especially on these sort of river winter trips. They're probably the hardest trips of the year, to be honest. Freshwater wise, in the summer is pretty straightforward. You can go to the lakes and get nets full, you know, nets full of um, silverfish. Or you can go to carp lakes and sit and get sort of low teens, high teens, doubles, and the odd 20. You should get a fair few bites you know, all day long. Or you can sit on carp lakes for hours and get the odd big fish. Depends what your preference is fishing wise, but I like to just get out at all times of the year. Keep content coming to the channel. Which is what I've done today. Come out for might get a couple of bites if I was lucky. Did get one conga bite as you saw, but no fish on the end, which is really annoying. That could have been a fish to make the video, but there we go. We've had a good go. And so we'll watch this for the next 10, 15, maybe 20 minutes. And then we're going to have to pack up and start wandering across all that water as flooded across behind us. So the flow was too much out there, I was just pulling the rod round. So I've dropped it short again, just down in front of this boat for probably the last cast. Mr. and Mrs. Swan are back, say hello. Come on, Rod, just go once for us before it gets dark. <laughs> we'll go once and give us a fish. It's already gone once, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, that sun's gone down. It's getting pretty chilly as well. So we're we'll watching this for the last 10 minutes and then it's going to be time to pack up and walk towards the car, show you all the flooding. Well, just in two otters, swim all the way down my swim, so that ain't going to help. <laughs> Can't see where they're gone now, but they start off, they pop their head up between the boats here. Went down behind the boats there, all the way along, and popped the heads up just down there. And they're heading down towards the bridge, I take it. Can't see them right this minute. But that obviously ain't going to help the fishing. 
and as I said earlier on, people reckon there were seals in here as well. So they're going to be clearing up a lot of the fish. Yeah, they're just down there under the bridge. Look. See the ripples? It's hard to show you where they are, but that's as much as I can zoom in. But there, where that boat is, the other side of the bridge. They're splashing about right there. Okay, so back to the rod. Still no more bites. Hands are getting a bit cold now. Got walking around filming and stuff. The sun was definitely keeping the temperatures up. We've had like six, seven degrees most of the day. We're back down to one now. Well, it's not looking like we're going to get a bite. Well, say a bite, it's not looking like we're going to get a fish. I think the water levels are no, it's starting to balance out now, come up to high tide. As you can probably see, it's started filling the field. <laughs> so you won't be walking down there along that path for any time soon, on the high tide anyway. It'll probably start to drain down again on the lower tide. Yeah, you can see there's a lot of extra water at the moment. Right. Time for me to pack up, I think. Okay, so we're gonna have to stop there, I think. So today, no fish and one bite. Not what I expected, but thought I'd get a couple of roach, but not today. Uh, right, so we'll start wandering back towards the car and I'll show you all this flooding. So. Since we got here, all this lot has materialised. <laughs> Just flooding all the paths. I could walk through it for water too, but I don't need to get soaked before I get in the car, do I really? I'll walk through some of it, as you can probably hear. But... I mean, it's deep enough to fish in, look at it. <laughs> Absolutely terrible. People normally sit here and enjoy the sun in the summer and have picnics and stuff. You can move your boat under here if you had a little teeny round boat. <laughs> It's even coming up over the sides down here as well. Look. I reckon this field will probably be nearly covered in the next half an hour. Yep, we're now going for it. Quite a bit of it really, to be fair. And this is nothing of what we're walking through, these are the deep bits. So I'll give you an idea, look, if you look at this bench, basically covered the whole length of where you'd sit. So you can imagine how deep that is. Uh, 
but wouldn't be surprised if there's some little fry in there to be honest <laughs> not too worried about that now that's sort of our day done really fishing wise just want to cheer you along the river as we go out some lovely boats down here be nice to go out on some of them in the summer barriers and stuff up let's stop this water coming through it's getting very close to there now but this should be okay today I think I had to come up and right through here before and right onto this road but as you can probably see still some water down there so back down here across the bridge along the boats we'll be back at our car still a few people about walking dogs and just having a bit of fun this one's the background there over the bridge we've got the old swans are eating the grass down here look ripping off the edge of the bank and eating it can't say I've ever seen them do that before they're not making a nest they're literally eating it <laughs> Obviously does something for them. <laughs> They're giving it a good old going over. So today, fish one, me nil. Really, you just literally see a fish top right there. Don't need a rudder or roach or something, but. Surprise me. I'm saying that, there's a few doing it down here as well. Yeah, a little fry look. Huh. I wasn't expecting to see that when I come back. There's lots of them everywhere, look. they're all over the place. Hardly showing on the camera. They're only small little things. There's a lot of them. <laughs> I think maybe I'm just gonna have a quick cast here because my rod's still set up. So I'm just gonna whip a little bit of bread down on the bottom here. Just see if we can't get a bite. So we're not finished yet. All the little fish I can see on the surface and that are only little fry, but I'm going to have a quick go here on the way back to the car. You never know, we might just get that one bite between these boats and stuff. And save the day. I would think people come along here and feed the ducks and swans and stuff, so fish to be used to bread going in I would have thought well I've definitely tried again I'll give it an extra half an hour as well I've tried over near that boat I've tried down in the near side bank here I've tried down there near that tree between the tree and the boats and I'm now going to be a cast just down there towards the bridge. And that's definitely going to be my last cast, this one. <laughs> I 
give it a good go or just thought I'd have a go in here just in case I could pick up a fish on the way back to the car because they're literally all over the surface and you can just about see them coming up see them all there's loads of them all over the surface little ones but they're not really big enough to take a bread bait plus I'm fishing on the bottom and they're on the surface so I'll probably get them if I had some maggots but then they're quite small they're nothing to shout about they're just little fry but I thought I'd just give it a cast I'm going to give it what 10 minutes down under this bridge here we're actually just over there near that buoy slightly into the middle but there's plenty of fish topping as it gets darker and darker but I wouldn't say there's anything massive about I just wondered if we got into dusk that we might just get a couple of bites and produce a fish but not so far there's definitely a lot more activity going on down here the dark grass getting the uh, more this happening sort of thing I don't know if there's little fry being chased by perch or we're just on the surface today because it's a bit warmer day. I'm not really sure. But you've got to have a go when you see a few fish in the area like that and you even if you are on the way back to the car and you've just packed up. Rod was already set up so it didn't take much to put a bait on. And have a few more casts. Well, I hope you can see that I've given it my all, as I always do in every session. I don't want people to think that I just go and sit in a swim and sit there all day with the rod just sitting there and I'm not putting no effort in. I put in as much effort as possible. I change baits, I change swims, I change areas in the swims. I walk along the rivers, I go under the boats, I go down the sides of the rivers, I try all sorts. And if I still don't get anything, then that's not through not a lack of effort. I put plenty of effort in. It's just a case that I'm not hooking up to fish today. I've had one good bite and nothing else really. I have actually just seen a couple of slightly bigger fish move over there near that white boat. So I'm just waiting to see if anything else happens there. Still plenty of the little fry all over the surface. Probably getting harder to see now as it's getting dark. Yeah, pretty much. Yeah, I think you can see them there rippling away. I think they're getting chased by perch or something like that. There's no big pug splashes or nothing like that. It's just a case of they're darting off in different directions every now and again. So I reckon there's some perch down here. Shame it'd be nice to get a couple of them if we had some worm and maggots, but we had the baits we had and we couldn't get any from the tackle shop, so we can only do what we can do. So, nothing seemed to be happening on this bite bite on this cast under the bridge or up towards the bridge so probably time to bring that one in I might have just had one more cast over near that white boat over there as I said I've seen a few better fish roll and then we've got to call it a day this time because it will be dark <laughs> so let's have one more cast and see where we go so we're out over there towards that white boat for one last cast. I know it's not showing on the camera, it's nearly dark, but trust me, it's pretty much dark. And that will be pitch black by the time we walk back to the car. 
which is just over there in the car park. So I'm hanging it out as much as I can. Just hoping for that one bite. But we can only do what we've got to do. Okay, so I'm going to give this 10 minutes on the bottom. What I have noticed down here on the bottom is it's very, very weedy. I'm pulling in a fair bit of weed when I come in, so I'm sitting down there in amongst the weed. That's not really having either, is it? Could do with a float, really, and sort of be fishing mid water. But we only can try with what we've got here today. So I'll watch this for 10 minutes, I'll let you know how we get on, and then we're off back to the car. Well, believe it or not, I've had three more casts. <laughs> it's dark now, as you can see. But I have seen some bigger fish starting to roll about on the surface and stuff, so I thought I'd just give it that a little bit longer and hope that we get that one fish. fishing down here now between these boats, mostly in the middle between these boats and this wooden deck. And then three or four better sized fish rolled just down there. Just where you saw that small one just roll in. Uh, hopefully something will go down and pick up my bread. Just finish your day off nicely. If not, we put in a hell of an effort. Time, swims, different areas. There you go, look, there's, there's definitely a lot of fish moving around there. I reckon if I had a float on, I could fish sort of foot deep or something like that. I'd be hooking up a few fish. You know, a bunch of maggots, a couple of maggots on. We're doing quite well, I reckon. But we're ledgering today, that's the only gear we've got with us. And that's not really panning out on what I want to do though, really. I thought I'd at least get a few roach. Mm, yeah, maybe a few rod or even a bream. But this is how it goes. You have to just keep trying. Next session could be a hell of a session, could have a hundred fish. <laughs> you just don't know what's going to happen next. Okay, I'll sign off here. I'll start walking towards the car, I think, in a minute. I'll come back at the car like I normally do. We'll do our little drive out. And that's going to be the end of this session, I think. Unless I get a fish on this last cast or so. Right, so I'll watch this just for this last little bit of time. And we'll be getting packed up. Well, I just threw a handful of bread crusts out on the surface and the little fryer are absolutely loving it. They're going crazy for it. But that's not really helping me fishing on the bottom, but <laughs> sure as they are coming up and feeding. The fish are actually are here. Shame they're not much better sized fish. Getting the odd fish come up, but look at bigger fish. I want to show you, but it's so dark. I'm obviously getting a grainy picture now because of how dark it is. They're absolutely loving it. But I think we're done. I've done my best, which is all I can do. And that weren't good enough today. <laughs> Ooh, that was a better fish that just come up. You might just be able to see a few of them coming up after the bread here. Right, I'm going to pack up.
Whew, so I'm back in the car. It's five o'clock. It's pitch black. And I basically give it a good old go, didn't I? Give it an extra 45 minutes near the car down there. Just fished it right in the dark and then sort of a little bit after dark. But still no bites. Got them fish coming up on the top, taking the bread, the smaller fish. A little rudd and roach, I reckon. But just could not get a bite on the bottom. But we gave it a good go. Just not to be today. We give it, what, five hours fishing. We had one clonk and bite, as you saw live in the video. But it didn't connect, which is really annoying. Um... But that's the way it go. So all I can say is thanks for watching. Please like, subscribe, share and all that sort of stuff. And you'll see me soon in another video. Hopefully we'll catch a few fish in the next one. And make up for this day. Right, see you soon.